so high right now, y'all. I'm about to go to sleep on y'all now. I remember y'all trying to assassinate me right now in 2024. That's what I remember. Am I on trial? No, sir, you're not on trial. A witness says he's high in open court and asked if he's on trial? I'm Brian Brockmeyer, and we're taking you through the top seven moments from Adrian Bean's testimony in the YSL Young Thug Rico trial, starting with a longer version of what you just watched. I remember y'all trying to assassinate me right now in 2024. That's what I remember. That's what I remember. All this going on right here on this, on, got, got me up on this stand, to my this and that third, all this extra stuff that's going on. Yana, I, am I on trial, Yana? Sir, you just have to answer the questions, unfortunately, un unfortunately, at this point in time, okay? That's all I can tell you. Am I on trial? No, sir, you are not on trial. But you do have to, but you have been properly summoned here as a witness, and you're subject to examination until I release you. I never consent to do none of this, sir. I ain't signed nothing. My name ain't on nothing. They come give me, they, 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 they y'all don't threaten to lock me up. Hey, I got a family, too. Adrian Bean has been on the stand since late February as prosecutors attempt to place Young Thug at the scene of a 2013 armed robbery and car chase. Bean already served time for the offense, admitting to being the getaway driver. He also admitted to investigators that Young Thug was involved, but ended up getting away. Check out his questioning by Young Thug's defense attorney, Brian Steele, before he admitted to being high in court. You explained, you just heard that you explained that they, we qualified that, you qualified it as the po detectives and police. And I asked you the authorities, the police, the prosecutors, I just made it broad, that they wanted, they forced Jeffrey Williams into it. Did you hear you say that? Man, um, can I get the water or something? I'm so high right now, y'all. I'm about to go to sleep on y'all now. I ain't gonna tell you no lie. Yes, you may. We gonna take a break. Attorney Steele tried to question Bean about being pressured by a detective to name drop Young Thug at the armed robbery. Here's the problem, though. Adrian Bean apparently doesn't remember anything from 2013 because he, quote, suffered from Molly. Due, due, to, due to the lack of... Uh, Things that I was doing back in the days, I don't really have no knowledge of nothing. I put everything behind me from back then, and I just just left everything. I've been kind of blacked out ever since then about everything that went on with me in my life back then. Okay. And what things are you talking about, Mr. Uh, I just, uh, suffered from uh, Molly. I don't know if y'all familiar with that. You, uh, you suffered from Molly? Yes, ma'am. I don't know if anybody in the courtroom is familiar with that, but I uh, took a lot of drugs back in the day. Putting 2013 aside for a second, at one point on cross-examination, Adrian Bean snaps when questioned about not remembering something just moments earlier. Excuse me, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I really don't understand what's going on. I don't remember. My head hurt. They keep asking me questions about this. Keep asking me questions about that. By 2013, I don't remember. No, you can't be excused at this point in time, Mr. B. You have to, you have to be, you're subject to examination. Uh, so, um, I don't, I don't remember. Who you just told the jury, the Honorable Judge Glanville, and all of us, that you've been threatened to be locked up. I didn't, I didn't consent to come to stand, get on the stand to be a witness, first of all. Who threatened you? To lock you, lock you up means go to jail. It wasn't no threat. The subpoena go out. They say you don't show up. They gonna lock you up. You go to jail or whatever. And all this little extra stuff like that right now. I ain't, you know, I ain't here to point fingers at nobody. Say nothing like that. That ain't my job. But you just it, said it ain't for me to mention what nobody got going on in their life. I got, I got my own problem. Who threatened you? You just told the jury that you've been. I done had all kind of threats, man. Y'all just exploded my whole phone now on, on, on to the world. People calling my phone right now, threatening me. Texting my phone. I, been, I ain't had no sleep. I've been up all night since yesterday, 7 o'clock, from 7 o'clock yesterday to 6 o'clock this morning. Still getting calls. Still getting texts. That's my personal line y'all just gave out. On live to the, to the public, to the whole wide world. Now, Bean wasn't the only one to lash out during his testimony. The attorneys also had quarrels during their turns on the podium. 
Here's one example as attorney Steele questions Bean about an interview he gave detectives that allegedly doesn't exist. Have you ever heard a recording of your conversation with the authorities, whomever, at the hospital on September 11, 2013? And, Your Honor, that's where I'm going to object um, because, Basis. again, this assumes facts that are not in evidence. He, it's on, yeah. it's what and, Mr. And, and, Your Honor, I'm going to object because based on what Mr. Steele, the recording Mr. Steele provided me, that is not what is being said. That is exactly what it's said. It is not. I'm going to sustain the objection, Mr. Steele. Your Honor, Mr. Bean just said it, 1417. That's why I was letting them know I really don't know what's going on. Well, that's, not the, the, them. that's not the question you asked. It is the question. What I'm getting at is he spoke with the police before. I don't have anything from the district attorney's office oh, alone. Oh, what did I tell you about that? I have nothing. What did I tell you about that? Though? I'm asking the witness if he has heard anything. Seen anything? That's my question. He's assuming facts that are not in evidence. I'm not assuming uh, any facts. I'm, I'm asking. I'll overrule that objection. You can ask him that. You can ask him that question. When his attorney Steele's turn to challenge the prosecutor's redirect examination, Judge Euro Granville wasn't having it, and another defense attorney steps in to make an objection. Do you remember whether or not they started and stopped that recording while speaking to you? Mr. Steele, you cannot comment. That is improper. That is, uh, sir, <laughs> sir, that is improper. That is improper. You're, you're not examining this witness at this point in time. There's no sir, be, sir, please be quiet. Yeah, yeah. Sit down. That, that Sit down, sir. Do you have an objection, Mr. Um, yes, assume facts and evidence. I'm going to overrule the objection. Last but not least, Attorney Steele attempts to question Bean about Young Thug allegedly jumping over a fence. But the prosecutor barely lets Steele get a sentence out. If you look closely, Bean's reaction says it all. Well, Mr. Williams, number 118, that's in front of you. If a person was going to climb the wall where the fence is down, where you ran Objection through that fence. Objection calls for speculation. A standing question. If. Objection calls for speculation. I'm asking him a question. Steele, if, if invites speculation. So rephrase it. Can you explain to the jury how a person on September 11, 2013 would run towards the police car to climb that wall where the fence is down, with the police right there? Judge, I want to object as to the form. I, I stand the question. Did you, are you telling the jury <laughs> that you see someone, Mr. Williams, running and climbing the wall where the barbed wire is down, right where the police are. Are you telling the jury that? I sustain the question. Did you, is that what you're telling this jury? Objection, you just say he doesn't I sustain the question. Mr. Steele, let's move on. All right. Adrian Bean is just one of hundreds of witnesses the prosecution plans to call in the case against Young Thug, whose real name is Jeffrey Williams. The rapper, along with five co-defendants, are charged with a slew of gang-related crimes connected to the alleged street gang YSL, short for Young Slime Life. Those crimes range from drug distribution and firearm possession to armed robbery and murder. On the other side, the defense says YSL is actually a record label called Young Stoner Life, with themes surrounding touch life, uh, tough life circumstances. As trial continues in its fourth month, We'll be there to cover all of the drama, bombshells, and make-or-break moments out of that courtroom in Atlanta, Georgia.